Hallelujah, precious saints. Well, this very night, I want to do a continuation on the teaching that we did just recently on decreeing and declaring a thing. Because according to Job 22 verse 28, you will also declare a thing and it will be established for you. So light will shine on your ways. Hallelujah. Well, we went into a teaching, but I want to focus more on the prayer today that you may listen to this prayer at home in your quiet time. But before we get to that, it is time for us to what? To declare and to decree a thing, to proclaim, to declare the divine will that God has already completed at the cross. There is so much power in God's word. And if we just know how to decree it and claim it, then the scriptures are the heart and soul of decreeing the word of God. Hallelujah. So decree means to give an official order with the power of legislation issued by a rule or person with authority. To declare is being a fierce campaign to get rid of something or start fighting in earnest for or against something now we know the scripture tells us according to scripture it says in matthew 12 verses 11 it says the heaven suffer in violence and the violent take it by force hallelujah praise the lord so the divine will is to make an official order pronouncement or legal ruling to affect something hallelujah so proclaim is to announce something publicly or formally so declare is to begin a fierce campaign to get rid of something or start fighting in earnest for or against something so the word fierce should get our attention we are informed the kingdom of heaven suffers in violence as we just spoke and other words for fierce are violent ferocious brutal vicious aggressive like the anger of a guard dog and with intensity so when we declare over another the life and heart of the word of god we are like a guard dog on their behalf so in the case of declaring against injustice there are to be no holds barred in our brutal vicious assault on the enemy so let's look at this so i am often asked how many times or how often or how long should one decree so the simple answer is until it is manifest or the holy spirit speaks clearly and releases you with peace from that thing decreeing proclaiming or declaring is not something we pick up and do once in a while we do it till we see the answer till we see the breakthrough the fruit if you will so we do it till we can pick up the juicy fruit and bite into the ripeness of sweet success hallelujah so we do it until we can eat of it share it and fill the earth according to genesis 1 28 he's given us all authority hallelujah so one caution is that i would give to you is that you do not be dismayed or discouraged when decreeing starts to feel in any way like you're just doing it as a routine or a route so this is one of the biggest ploys of the enemy to get you off track to stop you in your tracks when we buy into this lie we begin to believe that there is no power because we are just mouthing words this is not possible seeing the word has its own inherent power because it is living hallelujah christ jesus is living that's where the power comes in because christ is alive no we are just mouthing words we are releasing power no matter how it looks or feels consistently consistency is the key not feelings see it's not about our feelings or how hyped up we are it's based on the faithfulness of god's word see even witches and warlocks 
when they start declaring their cantations or their witchcraft or their curses they also have to confess it out but they do the opposite to what christians do christians declare the word of god they declare the opposite to the word of god bringing harm to their people so the bible says the blessings of the lord is what makes a man rich and it comes without sorrows every blessing outside of scripture outside of christ is a curse and that's why jesus became a curse on the cross so remember god's word does not return void but he watches over his word to perform it according to isaiah 55 verses 11 and jeremiah 1 12. in other words it is his job to bring it to pass and your job to release the word into your life by declaring and decreeing and, pro and proclaiming the word's power is not based on how we feel think or anything else because it is living it is endured with inherent power by god what a freeing principle this is knowing that we could never ever do it right enough all we have to do is to speak and be in agreement and god himself will perform it hallelujah so the reality of life in this earth today is god's remedy you and i both know it is very easy to speak negative words focus on negative aspects or believe everything will always be the same so at every turn we are bombarded with negative news and hopeless um, you know procrastinations intended to rob our hope but we all know if we speak adverse words over someone's life long enough they will embrace those words as being who they are so as a result death is created the purpose the beauty of who god says they are is now being robbed so this is not if this is not corrected it goes on for generations to come with increase so we're here to say that there is a better way so the world we live in today can only be transformed one person through jesus christ and his word so who else will the word of god be loosed into the earth into our families unless we speak it so that is why it is up to you the scripture tells us that god framed the words with his words and we are created in his image according to hebrews 11 2 to 4. so since we are created in his image he expects us to be like him that we may say thereby framing our world around us with his words too hallelujah we can reshape it we can bring it to pass we can bring those things so many people might often say do i have to speak it out aloud well the answer is yes and why because everything the father god ever did was done with words reflect back over creation and remember how many times he said let there be so the words spoke and speak are used over 1400 times in the new king james version so if we know that it's used that often then obviously speaking has great rev you know relevance and also power so everywhere you turn people are spewing negative uh, critical words of death total unaware or unwilling to look at the consequences of their words and much is done out of habits learned and taught in homes and around the world so it is time for a change and time for a transformation to take place it's time to be fruitful multiplying take dominion so that we may fulfill the fill the earth with his glory to fill the earth with his word it is time for us to see our own personal lives transformed according to genesis 1 28 so transformation will come because speak his will his living word over our life and will bring about change in the world around us filling it with the manifestation of christ it must and will start with our life first it is it, it and it all starts with you it all starts with who 
me. So speak the answer, not the problem. The answer is in the word of God. Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we come boldly to the throne room, the throne room of grace, for the access made possible by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. We decree and we declare household salvation according to Acts 16 verse 31. So they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved, you and your household. We declare that the unbeliever is sanctified by the believer, that you are outpouring your spirit upon our children and everyone connected to us, and they will begin to declare their love for you and confess that they belong to you. And we decree and declare that our pastors, our bishops, our apostles, our prophets, and our evangelists and teachers, men and women of integrity who seek your face, hear and speak your word, wisdom, knowledge, and skill and understanding are theirs from today. They fear and reverence your name. The fivefold ministry is alive in their being, and they have discernment. They weep between the porch and the altar on behalf of your people, and you are the first in their lives. Ministering and warring angels assist them in every area of their lives. We decree and declare that each leader of our nations, Lord, wherever they are, that their hearts are within your hands and that you and that they will acknowledge you in all their ways that they will hear your voice and lord i pray in the name of jesus and you will set them right in your sight and lord that they would not compromise your word lord lord you will bless them and their families also for those that uphold your righteous standards for the bible says that righteousness exalts a nation and we know that the bible also tells us the father sent the son that we might become the righteousness of christ through you jesus we decree and declare that lord everyone underneath those leaders within governments within workplaces will also be guarded and also be responsible to uphold moral laws and policies within every place be in unity and do what is right for the people for the employees for their families lord that they are concerned about the poor the needy the widows lord and the orphans lord the weak and do things to protect and meet the needs of of your people wherever people take any position of authority we decree and declare that those with hidden agendas will be exposed and pulled down from any position of authority we declare and decree lord your blood covering over your offspring that they shall live and not die and that they will seek you they shall love you that they are the best of the best in all that they do. Great is their peace. They desire wisdom and seek after it and understand that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. We bind up the spirit of murder, anger, rage, rape, violence and destruction and addiction. We decree that the spirit of love, compassion, hope and forgiveness is loosed in their lives. We decree and declare that Zion shall awake. We shall and call forth the spirit of intercession, praying spirit, wailing and mourning women, men of valor, men of Gideon mentality, willing to do whatever it takes to win the spiritual battle. The generation that love and obey, you are marching on their knees, rising up to power and authority and snatching the souls of men and women, boys and girls out of Satan's hand. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the Bible says you'll show compassion on son and saving others from the fires. So we declare and decree that our eyes are being enlightened. Our understanding is increasing and we are entering into a time right now into a different level of intimacy, personal relationship with you, Lord. And we are positioning ourselves to be impregnated by your Holy Spirit, even as you impregnated Mary with your Holy Word, your Son, Jesus. We decree and declare that we are impregnated with the Word and the Word 
prospers in us as we read the word of God every day. We decree and declare that you are our God and we are your people and we forever bow down before you and give you honor, praise and glory unto your name with all power and authority as you are our expectation. We declare and decree right now, this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. And Jehovah, you are a man of war. You are the Lord Jehovah Nissi. Fight our bottles this second half of the year in the name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah Nissi, fight our battles in the day and fight our battles in the night. Fight the battles that are seen and unseen enemies in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, your word says they shall surely gather, but as many powers that shall gather for our sake shall fall. Let every enemy of destiny fall the second half of this particular year in the name of Jesus Christ. By fire, by thunder, we pray and intercede for our jobs, for our careers, for our business, for our finances, for our marriages, our families, our children, our spouses, our ministry, and in within our nations in Jesus' mighty name. We loose peace and decree the move of God's power now. We pray for the entire body of Christ and declare declare peace and unity and we pray for every local church every local program lord for a new fire lord within the altar lord that every priesthood shall be set ablaze by your fire lord we ask the lord to restore and recover every black slidden child of god in every local assembly that this second half of the year will be a mighty breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. We declare right now, Zechariah 1.17 says, Cry yet, saying, Thus said the Lord of hosts, My cities, though through prosperity, shall yet be spread, and the Lord shall yet comfort Zion, and shall yet choose Jerusalem. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus because Hebrews 11.1 1 says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, of the evidence of things not seen. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, by your mighty power, by the power of the blood of Jesus, fire of the Holy Ghost, scatter and destroy any hindering spirits around us in Jesus' mighty name. Father, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, that you would scatter and destroy Destroy the power of every devouring spirit of limitation in Jesus' mighty name. Heavenly Father, we pray, Lord, that ere you any decree made upon our feet, because we have come to Christ, let it be revoked in Jesus' name. Any negative decree, any negative word spoken, let it be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, let our feet bring the gospel of peace to and travail verse the earth and let them be anointed and washed in your blood and led in peaceful places in Jesus name. Heavenly Father Lord we pray that you would release the spirit of the carpenter upon us to destroy the horns of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ any decree to cause satanic roadblocks in our ways of breakthrough be scattered by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father Lord come and be our shepherd and keep us together and save us from thieves in Jesus mighty name every satanic every satanic circle every satanic circle that is working against us let it be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ every collective power that wants to scatter what we have gathered we command you to fail and fall down and die in the name of Jesus Christ association of evil gang up or witchcraft power to cause derailment in our life be scattered by fire in the name of Jesus Christ any power put in place to supervise and confirm failure within our lives you will die now in Jesus mighty name anything in us that is contradicting the word of God to cause error die by fire in the name of Jesus Christ any power making a decree to affect our standing in the Lord break by fire in the name of Jesus Christ evil decree or curse over our lives spiritually physically or financially 
or matrimonially or educationally we break you in the name of jesus christ anything in us around us within us contesting with the presence of the holy spirit in us you are you still alive you will now be removed and die forever and perish in jesus mighty name spirit of the living god arise and take us to a place of blessing now in jesus mighty name father we thank you lord whatever weapon or tricks of the enemy to steal kill and destroy destroy them with their weapons right now forever in jesus mighty name heavenly father lord connect and correct and direct our helpers to us anywhere lord anywhere and anyhow lord that they may be and come to us in jesus mighty name spirit of the living god arise and remove any evil veil covering our face so that we can see jesus's name and the name of jesus power to succeed in our life come upon us now in the name of jesus christ power to see and discern lord with great discernment come upon us in jesus mighty name power to overcome and fall upon us now in jesus mighty name lord we decree the blessings of god over every plan and goal for our children this year and we decree all of our children shall be taught by the lord and we decree our children shall be for signs and wonders they shall walk in obedience lord they shall decree that every promise of the lord concerning our children will not fall to the ground but every promise shall be literally fulfilled in jesus name we decree that our children will have personal intimate relationships with god and the fear of the lord will be evident in their daily walk with god and we decree in jesus mighty name that our children will be as a source of affliction but they won't be a source of affliction but a testimony to god's grace and we decree that none of our children will bring shame upon our family or the name of our lord and we decree that no generational curse shall have an effect upon our children in jesus mighty name we bind every power of darkness that opposes our restoration in this year in the name of jesus christ we bind all the evil hosts that may want to gather against our progress and against our family families in the name of jesus we bind all the spirits of rebellion around our children in the name of jesus christ we bind the spirit of laziness and any form within our lives and our family in the name of our lord jesus christ we bind the spirit of dryness barrenness backwardness in our homes in the name of our lord jesus christ lord right now we repossess the land that we have lost in the name of jesus christ we repossess supernatural financing to rebuild every broken place in the name of jesus christ we repossess and inhabit every possession stolen from us in jesus name we repossess our jobs our health our business and our marriage in jesus name we repossess our financial breakthroughs in the name of jesus christ and we treve our blessings from the evil lord evil ones right now in the name of jesus christ we repossess our victory and we confess that we are delivered from the power of darkness lord our battle belong to the lord and we will fight all our battles throughout this year lord because the lord goes before us and fights our battles with triumph over our enemies in the name of our lord jesus christ we repossess our vision and we confess that abundance of new ideas and favors and ours is the name in the mighty name of our lord jesus we confess we proclaim we declare we believe and therefore have we not spoken it so shall it come to pass lord we pray right now we call forth all our treasures that the enemy has stolen we retrieve them in this year in the remaining of this year of restoration in the name of jesus christ we call forth the blessings of our lord on all our projects this year that there shall be no abandoned projects this time and life wasting projects on our ways of with reigning of this year and we call forth the anointing for creativity in 
our businesses, in our ministry that will fall on us powerfully in Jesus' mighty name. We call forth our lost, stolen financial breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. We call forth an accelerating breakthrough of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We call forth prosperity around our home in Jesus' mighty name. We call forth divine wisdom and understanding that will bring about success in Jesus' mighty name. We call forth shattered dreams, shattered hope, be revived and achievable for us in Jesus' mighty name. We call forth the spirit of watchfulness and spiritual alertness in Jesus' mighty name. We reject any of our former life living in drunkenness, promiscuous or any foul or forms of ungodliness in the name of Jesus Christ. And we confess that we are a new creation. The old things have passed away and they have gone and new have come. And we are redeemed of the Lord, washed by the blood of the Lamb and saved by His grace. We reject a life of strife and envy in the name of Jesus Christ. We reject any relationship that may drag us into un- ungodly habits or sexual sins in Jesus mighty name we reject the sins of the mouth sensual sins malice hypocrisy in the name of Jesus Christ we reject Satan's suggestion that we will not achieve success within this year and the remaining of this year in Jesus mighty name Heavenly Father we thank you Lord Jesus right now that you would touch us from the top of the head to the soles of the feet right now pour out a fresh anointing upon us. Lord, pour out a fresh breaker anointing upon us that wherever we tread our feet, let the gospel of peace come with us that we will declare good things that Christ has done for us through the finished work of the cross. We just declare what has already been written and as it has been written, so forth, let it be established in our lives in Jesus mighty name we declare today Lord that from our lips things will not be the same today in the name of Jesus Christ we declare greater things because in the name of Jesus Christ as we have confessed as we have proclaimed as we have declared as we have believed therefore as we spoken it let it be established in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray and believe this is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom.